Hi and welcome to this Garden Gnome Software screencast. This screencast is going to look at an application to open HTML5 content from your desktop. Now I have a couple of examples. Here we've got a park tour, so this is a Pano 2 VR output. If I double click the executable, you can see it's a 2 no tour. Uh, it could be multi-resolution, the full screen works as it should. Basically it works as you would be viewing it from a website. So there you go, that's the um, files for the Pano 2 VR. I've got um, an object to VR output here, but what I've done is rather than opening from the executable, what, I'm, what I've done is just copied the um, shortcut to the desktop, which then enables me to change the icon. So here I've got a custom icon opening up an object to VR project. Okay, so how do we go about doing this? Well, the first thing we need to do is go to a website to download the files that we need. So if I open up um, my web browser, and the website we need is nwjs.io. If we have a look, you'll see we've got some further release notes and some further reading, and we've got some downloads here. I'm interested in obviously the Windows 64, what 32 bit, and we've got downloads for other operating systems. I've downloaded the 64 bit version already, and it downloads it as a zip file. So if you double click that and I'm going to extract it to the desktop so let's just do that here we go and if I open it up you'll see that there's all the files that we need there's a credits HTML page in here um, basically the license agreement is please keep these intact and then you're free to use the files okay so what I need to do is output from either object or Pano 2 VR um, here is a, an output from Pano if I open it up you'll see um, all the usual files uh, for our HTML5 output. I've also deselected Flash Fallback Player because there's no point in having it because this is an HTML5 only output. And also select full screen under the HTML tab. This makes sure that the object or panel is in the center of the window when the application opens. Okay, so I'm just going to drag and drop my panorama into this. Um, far, uh, into this folder and what I need to do now is create a file called package.json now how I'm going to do that is right button click go to new and text document and now what I'm going to do is just re rename the file package and then change the file extension to json which is json there we go and do I want to change it yes Okay, if I open it up, what I've got here is some code I've already copied, uh, already already copied out or typed out. I'm just going to copy and paste that in. There we go. And let's have a look at this code. Right, we've got a name park to the name can be anything, and if it's wrong, it doesn't matter. It won't stop the executable from opening the output. However, what is important is the file path to the HTML page. Now, if we look inside my Pano, so I've got my folder name is Pano, so that's correct. And if we have a look inside here, I have an index HTML page. So there we go. That points to the HTML page that I need. I've also got some window control. We've got toolbar set to false. If this was set to true, what would happen is when the app opened or the executable opened the window, I would see an address bar very much like a web page. And then we've got the window size control width and height. Okay, so if I then save this and if I just hit the executable, double click, we should get, there we go, it's our two node panorama opening and as I say, it'll have all the features as if it was posted on the internet. Okay, the other thing we can do here is we can change the name. So here we go, I'm just going to call it tour. And of course what I could do is create a desktop um, or create a, a link to the desktop create a shortcut and then I could have changed the um, image there as well all right just to prove a point what I'm going to do is just copy the or move the panel out and I'm going to move in the object now all I need to do now to display the object is open up the package.json file change the file path because uh, my new folder is um, object and I also want to change the window size because my object is tall and thin so it's going to be 488 by 600 window 
If I just close and save that, now when I open up the XE, you'll see I've got my object there as well. So that's nice and easy. Okay, so that's how to um, make a desktop application to open your HTML5 content. And thanks for watching.